Mr. Bigley! Warning, this review may contain spoilers. With Thomas Was Alone, Mike Bithell set out to create a platformer that paired simplistic presentation with surprisingly deep puzzle elements. His attempts to craft an emotional experience in a space occupied by minimalistic, pixel-esque characters was praised by many, but confused and even put off some. So, is this game a testament to video games as an art form, or simply another project inflated by media-generated hype? A disembodied narrator lends humorously dry British quip to our point of view during Thomas Was Alone. While the characters themselves have no spoken dialogue, the narrator recounts their various interactions and personalities throughout the adventure in such a way that allows the establishment of an emotional connection. The tale remains intentionally vague, allowing both narration and the occasional text card to give us more significant insight into the world Thomas and his friends inhabit as their journey progresses. This is storytelling done right, without hand-holding, and presented with deliberate pacing in mind. At first glance, the graphics of Thomas Was Alone may come off as lazy. The motley band of characters are represented by simple rectangles of various dimensions, navigating through basic black, blocky environments. But take a moment to look closer, and Thomas Was Alone's beautiful nuances will make themselves apparent. From slight undulations as each character jumps, to subtle light and shadow effects playing throughout a background, Thomas Was Alone's attention to detail is understated, but charming, allowing us to focus on gameplay and story without frivolous eye candy. Sound effects in Thomas Was Alone are fairly typical for a 2D platformer. A full repertoire of digitized boops and beeps abound as characters leap from platform to platform, land on puzzle switches, and explode in a shower of pixels upon death. David Housden lends his talents by providing an incredible soundtrack comprised of synthesized melodies and sweeping orchestral movements. This impressive soundscape blends the very best of organic and digital music, providing a profound emotional backdrop that's impossible to ignore. Thomas Was Alone begins as a simplistic puzzle platformer, relying on nothing more than getting a shape from point A to point B. However, as the game progresses and the underlying story begins to unfold, the game mechanics evolve, adding new layers of complexity and challenge. New characters continue to join the cast throughout the course of Thomas' journey, each bringing with them their own unique abilities. The game forces players to switch between characters within a puzzle to utilize special skills and traverse deadly traps and obstacles. Solving puzzles becomes intertwined with the narrative as each character begins to rely on one another more, forming relationships beyond strictly utilitarian purpose. This becomes increasingly apparent as certain character pairings become more common than others. While this adds a certain amount of predictability to each individual puzzle, the overall game never grows stale due to the wide variety of characters at the player's disposal. The game's puzzles gradually increase in difficulty. Despite a rather calm introduction, some of the later levels draw on almost rage-like qualities. Fortunately, the game is designed to drive the story forward, not deeply frustrate those infested in the plot, so a pool of unlimited lives is readily available. While more hardcore players may find this unrewarding, casual players can work through the game's many challenges at their own pace, allowing them to truly appreciate the deeper elements at work here. Mike Bithell has managed to mold an experience that excels both in storytelling and gameplay. Favoring a simple presentation style, Thomas Was Alone allows players to focus primarily on the emerging relationships and personalities of the colorful cast of characters, with the understanding that completing more puzzles will result in more of the story's truth being revealed. It's this excellent balance between narrative and gameplay that lends itself so well to the development of this game's undeniable charm. While more experienced puzzle gamers may be left wanting, Thomas Was Alone is a breathtaking emotional journey that remains easily accessible and genuinely heartfelt. If you're curious about how much a group of featureless shapes can tug at your heartstrings, Thomas Was Alone is definitely worth giving a try. If you enjoyed the review, be sure to hit the like button, share the review, and favorite it. Also, if you'd like to see more of Thomas Was Alone, be sure to hit the video link and go to my Let's Play series of it. Thank you guys, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye bye